Hello, I'm uh, Dr. John Nasser, uh, the Director of Defense and Endoscopy at West Virginia University Hospitals, and this is Dr. Kraft, also at West Virginia University Hospital. We are here to discuss our article, which was recently published entitled Endoscopic Endgame for Obstructive Pancreatopathy. We were able to complete this study with help from our colleagues at the University of North Carolina Medical Center, including Drs. Todd Barron, Theodore James, and Michael Grobley. Dr. Nasser, can you provide us with some background on our study topic? Yes, absolutely. So, in our study, <coughs> we used the, the umbrella term enterograde EUS guided pancreatic duct drainage to refer to pancreatic gastrostomy in cases of normal anatomy or gastropancreatic enterostomy in cases of post vocal anatomy. Pancreatic gastrostomy, or PG as we will now refer to it from this point on, was employed after technical failure of endoscopic retrograde pancreatography, or ERP, and the rendezvous assisted ERP in patients with chronic pancreatitis. On the other hand, gastropancreatic enterostomy, which, which we will refer to as ring drainage from this point on, was used after technical failure of enteroscopy assisted ERP in post vocal patients with pancreatic jejunal uh, anastomosis. Dr. Kraft, can you please summarize our study design? Yes. We conducted a dual center retrospective study of 26 patients who underwent PG for chronic pancreatitis, as well as two patients who underwent ring drainage for pancreatic regionostomy stenosis and post whipple anatomy. The endoscopic endpoint in both study arms was attainment of definitive therapy, which we defined as transpapillary drainage in normal anatomy or transanastomotic drainage in post whipple anatomy. Variables of interest include a technical success, clinical success, which we measure as subjective pain relief, and adverse events. Dr. Nasser, can you explain the procedural technique? Yes, so uh, as uh, we all know, uh, pancreatic integrated duct drainage is a complex procedure. Uh, in order to perform pancreatic gastrostomy, we punctured the pancreatic duct through the gastric wall using a 19 gauge aspiration needle and we performed pancreatography, which was EUS guided. Uh, after that, a 0.025 inch guide wire was advanced through the needle and into the pancreatic duct. The needle was then exchanged for over the wire transmural ductal uh, tra tract dilator, and the biliary dilation balloon was the dilator of choice. However, cautery assisted tract dilation via needle knife or cystodome was sometimes used as first line therapy in patients with calcified pancreatic parenchyma. After successful transmural tract dilation, an enterograde transmural insertion of one or two pancreatic stents occurred. After creation of the pancreatic gastrostomy, we allowed for a median of six weeks for fistula maturation before proceeding with repeat endoscopy. The goal of repeat endoscopy was to attain transpapillary drainage. Repeat endoscopies varied from ERP to rendezvous assisted ERP to transmural pancreatoscopy. When definitive therapy was not accomplished during the first repeat endoscopy, additional transmural plastic stents were inserted into the pancreatic gastrostomy tract. Both cases of ring drainage were performed by Dr. Todd Barron. Ring drainage is almost identical to PG except transanastomotic guide wire passage occurs. The final gastropancreatic enterostomy consists of a transmural stent with a distal tip in the jejunal lumen and the proximal tip in the gastric lumen. Dr. Kaff, can you please summarize the major findings of our study? Yes. So, ring drainage was successfully performed during the index procedure in the two patients with pancreatic regionostomy stenosis. Both patients had clinical success, which was maintained during an 18-month follow-up period. 26 patients underwent attempted PG creation for chronic pain. Technical success occurred in 21 of 26 of these patients, adverse events in 4 out of 26, and clinical success in 15 out of 20 patients. All 15 patients with clinical success underwent repeat endoscopy after maturation of the pancreatic gastrostomy tract. Definitive therapy was accomplished during the first repeat endoscopy in 12 out of 15 patients, during the second repeat endoscopy in two patients, and during the sixth repeat endoscopy in one patient. Clinical success of definitive therapy was maintained in these 15 patients over a median 4.5 month follow-up period. So, Dr. Kraft, what does this study add to our existing literature? Through our study, we have better defined the natural history of anterograde pancreatic duct drainage, 
which we consider a bridge to transanastomotic or transpapillary drainage. Transpapillary drainage was mostly attained during the first repeat procedure in our pancreatic gastrostomy cohort. We believe that pancreatic gastrostomy creation facilitates subsequent transpapillary drainage through the restoration and redirection of pancreatic juice flow. The introductal tip of the PG stent may also mechanically degrade introductal calculi. Together, the redirection of juice flow and degradation of calculi may lessen the severity of pancreatic duct obstruction, thereby facilitating future transpapillary drainage. The study has shown us that PG carries mild to moderately high rates of technical failure, clinical failure, and adverse events. But the patients who clinically respond to index drainage procedure are likely to maintain their clinical response leading up to and after transpapillary drainage. What are some future avenues of research uh, that uh, we could collaborate through on this topic? So research regarding anti-grade pancreatic duct drainage is important, especially given the relative inavailability of other reliable salvage procedures, such as percutaneous pancreatic duct drainage. Future research should include prospective studies, which will allow collection of more precise parameters, such as the use of a validated quality of life scale for measuring clinical response. Ultimately, a prospective study comparing outcomes of anti-grade drainage with surgical drainage should be proposed.